right. All right. Cross examination, sir. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> this, 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 Thank this. you, Your Honor. Uh, good morning, sir. Good the morning. Cross. Here we go. Let's see. You've worked with opposing counsel's law firm approximately 20 times before? Give or take, yes. For more than a dozen years? Those 20 probably would have spread out, been spread out over more than a dozen years. Okay. As you sit here today, you cannot testify that all of the photographs produced by Ms. Hurd are authentic originals, correct? Mm. No, I can testify to the ones that Mr. Neumeister identified original? with specificity. Right, but there were thousands of photographs provided that Mr. Neumeier didn't testify about, right? I have no opinions on any photographs that the opposing expert has no opinions on. All right. My question to you, though, is as you sit here today, can you testify that all the photographs produced by Ms. Hurd are authentic no. originals? As I sit here today, I cannot opine to photographs that have not been presented we can't say to me all legit. that are not authentic originals. We can't, we can't say they're You'll all legit. agree with me that in some instances, Ms. Hurd produced multiple versions of the same photograph, right? Yes. Yeah, you mm. just talked about it, right? Yes. Exactly. And you'll agree with me that the XF data of some of the photos produced by Ms. Hurd reflect the use of a photo editing application? No. No? I'll agree that they show the use of the photos application, which is a sorting and editing application. Mm, OK, <laughs> so you, what, what you uh, were quibbling with is that it will both sort and edit. That is correct. OK. Are you prepared to swear under oath that each and every photograph provided by Ms. Hurd and entered into evidence in this court is an authentic original. Mm. Based on the metadata that I have reviewed of the specific photographs I have reviewed, I can confirm that those are authentic original photographs. For the ones that Mr. Neumeister identified, I identified photos that were authentic originals. No, I'm asking you a broader question than that. There were multiple photographs that Ms. Hurd provided that were entered into evidence in this court. Are you testifying that those are each authentic originals? I no, have no uh, testimony or opinion on those because nobody's provided me opinion that they're not. See, he doesn't, he doesn't okay. remember. He just testified there was there was Mr. Gibson, will you pull up of the, of the photos? Exhibit 712 right? and defendants so they all can't 713 be He's got them in one another. Your Honor, these have already been admitted, Crapping and I ask that we publish them to the jury. They okay, all can't be originals because he's already admitted to their, their duplicates, so the duplicates aren't originals. So can you see those circumstances? Yes, I can. Here they go. See? You'll agree with me that those are different pictures? No. Visually, they look different to me, yes. All right. We can take that down. But so he should have asked. He, I would have asked the question. So up, both these pictures are exhibit. authentic. That's what I'm saying. Three, Original zero, authentic. He, he got to say no. No, they're not. Right? They're not. That is the question I would have asked. This I is that's not the question admitted, that Your Honor. And, and both I these are original pictures, authentic originals. Right? No, one has to be and one doesn't have to be. That was a demonstrative, Your Honor. All right. Be identified and I don't know why he didn't close the door. There we go. Any objection to entering it into evidence? Uh, I would object it's cumulative, Your Honor. Um, actually, no, uh, no, no objection. Your no Honor. objection. All right, it's in evidence then. Look, 1308 is in evidence. Mr. Gibson, can you blow up the time, date, and file name? Okay. Sir, you just agreed with me that those two photos are different photos, correct? I agreed that they were visually different, yes. Right. So they are two visually different photos that were created at the exact same hour 
the exact same minute, the exact same second as each other, correct? Mm. And that's what the daytime metadata mm. shows, yes. And the metadata shows something else, too. You're a liar! They have the exact same file name, don't they, sir? <laughs> yes, but that's this not embedded good. metadata. But this is good! You got him! How would you have you this jury decide which one is real? <laughs> I think you would need to look at the software metadata field, Got which it. I haven't, haven't looked at. I don't recall if I looked at for this particular field. You're a liar, I think doctor. that's what even Mr. Neumeister said, that you need to look at the software metadata field. But we have two now we gotta trust Mr. photographs. Now we got to trust Mr. Neumeister now. In this he knows court what he's talking about all of a sudden. That have the same identifying information, <laughs> but in your view, look visually different, correct? Uh, I don't agree that they have the same identifying information. I'm not, I don't see a software uh -oh. metadata uh -oh. field here. <laughs> uh -oh. The identifying information includes the, the hour, minute, and second they were taken, this, this picture were taken. He cutting them, boy. I see that. No That's further questions. Mm. Right. And